listeners and viewers, welcome to Kaduna State Ministry of Education radio and TV e-learning program designed for our SS3 and other students staying at home due to the coronavirus pandemic. The present administration under the able leadership of His Excellency, Malam Nasur Ahmed El Rufai is positioned as always to ensure that under his leadership, our students are not left behind in all areas of human endeavors, especially education. Kaduna State is the center of learning. Therefore, we want to ensure that our students excel in their forthcoming examinations and beyond. Students and other learners at home are given this opportunity in order to continue learning as education is a continuous process. Different subjects will be taught in this program to assist students to perform excellently in the forthcoming Senior School Certificates examination being conducted by NECO and WAEC as soon as schools reopen. Teachers making presentations will always provide their names and phone numbers during each presentation and they can be contacted for questions, further explanations and or clarifications. The following numbers and contacts can also be reached for expression of any concern or observation. 090-865-00545 or 080-383-62072 our website is www.education.kdsg.gov.ng. Our email, education at kdsg.gov.ng or education.kdsg at gmail.com. Our YouTube channel, Ministry of Education, Kaduna State. Our Twitter handle, at Kaduna underscore MOE. Or our Facebook page, Ministry of Education, Kaduna State. Stay safe, stay at home, and learn well. Thank you, happy listening, and happy viewing. Good day, learners. We are welcome to Cardinal State e-learning education. We are going to study computer this morning. From our topic, we are going to deal with cables and connectors. But for today, we are only going to consider cable. All of you have been seeing cables at home, different kinds of cable. But you might not be able to identify which one you are using or which one is bringing in signal into your various houses. Now, from today's topic, that we talk, said is cables. We are going to consider the definition of cable and network cable. Then the type of cable that we have and their uses. Now, what do we understand by cable? Cable are the medium through which information usually move or flow from one network device to another. Network cable is used to connect and transfer data between computer and uh, network, if we understand that. There are different types of network cable and structure. Don't forget that there should be appropriate cable to be used for any connection or from any internet connection. Before you can choose any cable, always consider one, the network topology, the protocol and size of that table, cable that you are going to use. What do I mean by network topology? Topology in networking is talking about the arrangement of your networking. Is it bus? Is it star? Or is it otherwise? If you know the topology, what is the protocol? Protocol is talking about the set of rules that guide your computer networking. And finally, the size. Having understanding that one, we have to consider the characteristics of the different type of cable that we use so that we can have 
a successful network. If you know that, learners, I've told you, you don't know the type of cable that you are using at all. But this time around, I'll take you through the types of cables that we have. We have twisted pair cable, which have two types, chilled and unchilled type. Another type of cable is quasar cable, followed by fiber optic cable, and finally, telephone cable. If you understand those four types of cables that we have. Now, let's discuss about the one after the other. First, I said twisted pair cable. When you're saying something is twisted, it's not a straight cable. It has to be they move together to give you the twisted type. I said it's a type of wiring in which two conductor, the forward and return conductor of a single type are twisted together for the purpose of cancelling out electromagnetic interference from external sources. What do I mean by electromagnetic interference from external sources? We are talking of disturbances when you are making use of your cables, which can be noise or crosstalk. And I've said it, it's like when you call it, you dial a line, and it's being picked by another line, another line that is a crosstalk. Meaning that you are not discussing with the right line that you call. So that is an electromagnetic interference. It can be a problem on the way. So from external sources. Twisted pair cable is being invented by a man called Alexander Graham Bell in 1881. The pair cable is one in charge of the transmitting of data. When you look at it, we have four pairs in a cable. As they are being twisted together, they are the one transmitting data, information, and you receive it again. And there is a cable that the wire is being embedded in. And that one is to protect or go against crosstalk. And there are two types of this peer cable, as I've mentioned while I was listing them. I said we have shielded twisted peer cable, STP, and unshielded twisted peer cable. Let's see the diagram of the two. The first one over there is a shielded type, while the second one is unshielded. If you check the two of them, you'll see that they are material, are jackets. Shielded is having like two jackets, white or shielded one is having one. If you see clearly, you see that as the cable is being twisted together, it's being embedded in a jacket before the final jacket. While or shielded one is only on the final jacket. Shielded twisted pair cable is a twisted cable that is shielded with materials that I've said. That material is called jacket and that will prevent electromagnetic interference. That is the essence of being embedded it with a jacket. And this is used on Ethernet network, LAN. And this LAN is the type of network that we have. It is better protected of crosstalk or noise and secure data transmission. Now, the unshielded retreat is the most popular one and is generally the best option for school net work. It is a four pair of wire, as you have seen before, inside a jacket. Each pair is twisted in a different number of twists per inch to have eliminating interference from adjacent pair and other electrical devices. 
The tighter the twist, mm, the higher the support transmission rate and the greater the cost per foot. It is used for computer and telecommunication industry as HNA cable. Telecommunication industry like TV, radio signal, and it is used for LAN and television connection. The disadvantage of unshielded trans, unshielded twisted pair cable is that it may be substitute to radio and electrical frequency interference. That means there can be an interference while using this type of cable. Now, let's check the next quasial, the next cable, which is quasial cable. Quasial cable or quartz is an electrical cable with an inner conductor. If you look at my hand, this is an example of quasial cable. I said it has an inner conductor. This is the, the inner conductor that transmits information. And this is surrounded by a flexible supply insulator. These are the insulators. All these ones cannot conduct electricity. They cannot transfer anything. The only thing is they help in going against electromagnetic, electromagnetic interference. It has a single copper conductor, as I said, at its center. Can you see it, Lennox? A plastic layer provided by insulator between the center conductor and a branded metal shield. The metal sheet has to block any outside interference from fluorescent that we have outside, motors, and other computer. Despite of this cut in installation, it's highly resistant to signal interference. When you compare it to paired cable, quartz is more effective than than paired cable. It can support greater length between network devices than twisted pier cable, as I've said. The two quasar cable are thick, which can be otherwise called thick net. And the second one is called thin, otherwise thin net. It is used in different homes. But let us, you have been seeing there, but you have never thought of what is the name of this type of cable that I'm using. If you check your antenna from your cable, if you could check the antennas outside that brought in your cable into your TV, this is the type of cable that we use. It is used in Ethernet voice network. That is the type of topology. I've said it, we have star, we have bus. So it is always used by cable operators. Telephone companies make use of the of Quasial and by internet provider. Who are internet providers? MTN, Glow, Etisalat, and so on and so forth to convey data, video, and voices to our various stations. Now, you have, seen it, you have seen me holding it. If you look at the diagram, there is no difference between what I'm holding and what is on, grand, on screen for you to see. So you have been seeing them. After the lesson, go and check if it's truly cable that you are using or not. After this, let's go to the third type of cable that we are using. 
I said fiber optics is the third type of cable that we have. This is a technology that uses glasses. Instead of this one using jacket or so, optic fiber cable make use of glasses. A fiber optic cable consists of a bundle of glasses thread. I've said it, instead of plastic, it makes use of all glasses. And each of, of each is capable of transmitting messages modulated onto light waves. Meaning that we make our, the, 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 the glasses in our optic cable, cable to transmit data, to transmit information. And this one is possible in, for a longer distance. Fiber optic cable has the ability to transmit signal over much longer distance when you are talking of one wide area network than coaxial and peer, twisted pair cable. It, is, it also has the capability to carry out information at vastly greater speed. Unlike peer cable that will be slow, coaxial will be slow. But because of the quality of this type of cable, I mean fiber optic cable, because of the glasses, it moves faster, and it goes a long distance. And we use this in internet. Fiber optic cable has several advantages over traditional metal communication line. It has a greater bandwidth than metal cable. What it can transmit within a minute, flex, uh, uh, coaxial, Twisted can you do that? So it has a greater bandwidth than metal cable. That is, it can carry more data. It is less susceptible than metal cable to interference. So only that you will experience interference in this optic fiber cable. Even if there will be any, it will not be as high as others that have been mentioned of. Fiber optic cables are much thinner and lighter. It is not as heavy as others that have been mentioned of. It is used for computer network. Example is Ethernet connection. TV, signals, Transmission for radio frequency signal. Fiber optic disadvantages are expensive installation. That means you pay more because of the quality. Fragile, it can break at any time. And difficult to place. If I'm talking of difficult to place, I mean it difficult to join them together because of the glasses, which can injure. It is a popular technology for LAN. Telephone companies to make use of them. And also, the telephone company are steadily replacing traditional telephone line. All those are landline. It's not that they are, we, are no more using, we are not using them, but they are making use of base fiber optics cable. Underground, Communication that we're having on that sea is the effort of fiber optic cable. This is our glasses that we are talking about. Can you see them in blue color? Learners. Finally, we are going to the last part of the uh, cables that we're having, which is telephone cable. Learners, can you please look up? This is type of a uh, telephone cable that we make use of. It's a method of guiding transmission for your telephone. Without this cable, there is no way your telephone can work effectively. This means it is an act of physical part to transmit electromagnetic waves and carry information from point to port. 
This is done by conducing conductive material such as copper. If you look at my hand, this is the type of copper that I'm talking about. This wire being used for telephone cable are one of the most twisted pair of copper. They are of different color. You will see me hold, touching blue, touching brown, touching red, and uh, black. They are being twisted together. They are the ones transmitting information to us via our telephone. So with this, I'll be able to pass to you the type of cables that we use in transmitting information. I said they are twisted pair cables that are of two types. They are quasile, another one is fiber, and the last one is telephone cable. If you are able to understand this, meaning that it will be easy for you to get a successful connection. If we all understood this, I will not leave you alone with just giving you an old work. One, you have to define a network cable. Two, you have to list the four types of network cable we have. Three, explain the two out of those mentioned in question two. I will take the assignments all over again. Divide a network cable, list the four types of network cable we have, explain two out of those mentioned in question two. For references, you can consult Computer Study for Senior Secondary Education by HIITPS, computer, New Computer Study by JOT Otika. And if there is any information that you needed about this topic, and if you are going to submit your assignments, consult this number. Or on WhatsApp, you can send or submit your uh, assignment to me. Bangbelu O Adiola, 080-36-00-3145. Again, Bangbelu O Adiola, 080-36-00-3145. Don't forget that you have to stay home. Stay safe. Keep learning. COVID-19 is real. Bye for now till next edition.